Nick Sam back with another video and today I'm going to be reacting to the Canes and Bruins game four of their first round series and I have I know I have made reactions for games one through three just I wasn't able to so that's why there's none of those but we're going to get into game four and let's get right into it. The Canes will start off the scoring in the first period with one goal by Mr. Game 7 nicknamed Justin Williams and in the second period the Canes will get another goal but not a normal first liner but this time is Jordan Marnhook since Spechnikov is out with an injury. So that will put the Canes up 2-0 going into the third period. And then in the third period is where the Canes fall apart. Going into the third period, it's been all Hurricanes, 2-0. Then we go into the third period. Reimer tries to make a great play by diving to trip the guy and make him miss the shot. He trips him all right, but he still gets the shot off and scores the empty net technically since Reimer's out of it. And that goal was scored by Jake DeBrusque. And then a little bit later on, the Bruins come and score again and tie it at two with Connor Clifton. And that was a great shot and goalie screen on that goal. But there was another one and that tied it all up at two. So quickly the Bruins got right back into this game. They were down 2-0. Canes had a comfortable lead. And then now it's tied up at two. Canes used a timeout right there. And a little bit later on, Brad Marchand gets a one-on-one -on -one with James Reimer and scores through the five hole because the defense was not back. And he had a one-on-one -on -one with Reimer. You can't expect Reimer to make that save. So that puts the Bruins now up 3-2. Bruins take their first lead of the game. Finally, the Bruins will score their final goal. They will this game, which will put them at four. Scored by Jake DeBrusque again. So he opens the scoring and finishes the scoring for the Bruins. So he'll finish with two goals in that game. The Canes will pull the goal and they'll get a goal with Teo Teravayan. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And that will put it to 4-3 but they cannot get that last goal. So it will be a Bruins 4-3 win here in game four of the series, which will put the Bruins up 3-1 in this series. So as a Canes fan, I, do, I really don't think we're going to be able to come back by three games against the Bruins, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. So we'll have to see. There is a lot of 3-1 series right now in, around the NHL. So we'll have to see some of those 3-1 series, if any of them can win. And, or if the team that has three wins will just win like expected. Let me know down below if you guys think the Canes will come back. Personally, I don't think they will. Even though I'm a Canes fan, I just don't see it against the Bruins. If you're playing the Capitals or someone else, I could see it because we have, we play better against them with the Bruins. We just normally don't play that well against. So I really just don't see it happening. And we already have Spetsnikov injured for probably the rest of the playoffs. Not 100% sure yet, but I would assume the rest of the playoffs, most likely the rest of this first round. So to beat the Bruins without Spetch is going to be very hard. And I know they don't have Tuka Rask, but Halak has been playing very well for the Bruins. So I think it's going to be hard for the Canes to come back, but we'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. And we're trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of August. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.